Hey, today I just want me to tell you about my experience of taking the living of my car during the whole quarantine situation. Well, I ordered my car on January 15th and um, they told me my delivery day was going to be March 24th, but well before the whole quarantine situation um, went, but the delivery day got closer in March. They actually extended my delivery day to April 15th. Uh, and that will about be a day before my birthday, which is April 15th. When the Titanic sank, taxes are due, you know, just a bad day, just a bad day. <laughs> April 1st, I got email from uh, telling me if I wanted to take um de delivery the next day and um I said yeah of course because I was excited to get the car yeah. I would be waiting for for three months so um, I ended up um, taking delivery um April second at um eleven AM in the morning. So I can do a Trading for the car. I traded in my 2015 for the house. I, I was into a picture of a truck like now for you guys to see. Oh. A regular delivery for car would have been different from the one I have. Because a regular delivery, you go in the, in the telephone form and you, you be greeted by a telephone employee. You find the paperwork in the form and then you can give you like a 30 minute to 40 minute tour of a car and explain to you how it works, how it drives, and the different features they have. Before you actually go out on the road and drive it because it, it is a different feel from the other car that don't have the same features and technology advances. So, when I took delivery, um, Tesla and Mom, a contactless delivery in effort to decrease the spread of the uh, alcohol and virus. Um, I didn't have any contact with any Tesla employees. Um, I literally went to a test form with my truck and when I got to a parking lot I called my car and the test employee called my phone and gave me instructions on how to proceed. Um, I opened my car with my phone with the app that I had already installed um, since I ordered the car. Um, when I got close to the car, I turned on my Bluetooth and opened the car with my phone. And the paperwork was already in the car, it was in the envelope. In the car, um, I did find all my paperwork in the car. I left the key to my truck in the envelope and simply followed the instructions of the 
Kathleen, please, and put an envelope in, in the mailbox. They told me to put in next to a boy. So, the coffin bed that I employ was roughly around 10 minutes. And um, it didn't really give me much information on how to drive the car. So, I was eating in the parking lot watching YouTube videos. Even the test employee told me that YouTube was going to be my best friend when learning about the car. Um, something that really caught me a car, but um, I actually watched videos and it didn't mention the way it didn't break it in the car, but I wasn't expecting what the film. <laughs> no! She wasn't ready! She wasn't ready! Because somebody you see things in video, but it's not like actually feeling them and experiencing them in person. Oh, um, but pipe breaking that the car has is way different than my server out. They have um, breaking and breaking. Uh, but I mean that the car actually breaks by itself. For the mega car, this is the way it was set up. It was the problem of the house, which me that um, the car would not move unless you press the accelerator. When the car is low, it'll move slightly. And when the car is creep, it will accelerate until I find my, my power. So, this was my experience from taking the delivery during the quarantine. It was way different from when I purchased my truck in 2015. If you guys didn't realize truck delivery during this time, please comment down below what was your experience from what did you like? What did you find when? Because to me, it was a very weird experience. Um, I hope you guys like the video. Let me know if you like any suggestions for more videos. And remember to hit the like button, subscribe, and see you guys next time. And if you pay my Buying a Tesla yourself, you can use my referral code down below in the description to get a $500 free supercharging.